Open Peak Studios tutorial, Creating a Guest Book Part 2. In Part 2, we'll be going over using the list component with event listeners and setting data providers, as well as using text inputs and component buttons with the select, update, and delete functions from the PHP MySQL extension. So to start, let's go into the admin folder, which is what you will get when you unzip the download, and just copy the admin.fla, close that, and paste it into your guest book folder where you started part one. Open up the admin.fla file. What you'll see in here is that there's a list box at the top now. That's entries underscore LST and then the same two input texts as we used in the front end, as well as the same error. So this is just name underscore text, comment underscore text, error underscore text. We have two new buttons. One's edit underscore BTN, and the other one's delete underscore BTN, as well as I just changed the titling up top here. So now we can go into the actions. And I'm going to go to import class and select AS2 and then paste that in. So now that I'm here, I'm going to do LGB select. Let's scroll back up to the top. Our table is going to be GB like it was for the part one and ID. And I'm just going to copy this line again. Remember that. ID the name, the message. Oops. Okay. So now that we have that, we can go down to our return function. I'm just going to copy this little part of the line because I just want to use that little part later and paste that in there for half a second. First we need to create a new array, so I'm going to create an array here. I'm going to call it LGBA. Now we can go back into this variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to that array, so it's going to be LGBA dot add item and then when we do this add item we'll have to add this extra bracket because it's a multi-dimensional array in there so the first thing we want to do with this array is we want to pull back our ID so we're just going to call it ID1 and it's going to get ID1 from the vars ID The reason we know that's an ID that's being returned is because we set it all up here. So the next one's going to be name, and then the other one's going to be message. So for this one, I'm just going to call it comment one, and it's bringing in the message. And it doesn't matter which order I put them in here, if it's different than the order up there, it'll still work. As you see, you'll see in a second, we're going to change the order again. So, the problem with this, the only problem we're going to have is that we want the uh, ID to show up first on the left of the list box. So if we were to break this into three different sections, we want the ID number, and then the name, and then the comment. So to make that pattern work in Flash with this list component, you actually have to write everything in backwards. So we're going to move this. And so now it's going to be the ID, then the name, then the message. And left to right here means right to left there. So it's just exactly opposite. So finally, we need to set a data provider for that list. So it's entries underscore LST dot data provider. 
equals LGBA. So then we just call off this function once and everything will work as far as filling that list. I'm just going to add a stop statement. So now I'm just going to grab my admin SWF and HTML files and put them right into my guest book area wherever I uploaded that. Now these guest book files are, and admin files both call to the same PHP files so you don't need to redo the PHP at all. So let's open this up. And yep, yeah, it's all working here. So what we're going to do next now is we want to be able to click on one of these and have it fill in that, that information down below for editing and deleting that information. So let's go back over to Flash. The first thing we want to do then would be add an event listener to that list. So to do that, we need to create an object. It's going to be a responder object. So we're going to call it var lgbr for responder. And then we're just going to call what the response should be from that responder. So we're going to call lgbr.change part 3. Thanks much.